Hi, everybody. Uh, you probably hear some animals in the background. And what we're going to run today is the uh, Santa Fe's, uh, one of their uh, fast expresses. Uh, but it's a freight this time since I've been doing all passenger trains. This is the LSX, which is the stock train. And you can hear it in the background. And I'm going to stop here for a second and show you where it starts in staging. Okay, we're back. It's currently on track six, and you can see, I'm going to have to talk louder, the uh, green light. That means track six is powered and all the other ones are off. And so there's the train back there. There's all the stock cars. And it's led by four uh, Intermountain FTs that I bought several years ago. And uh, we're going to get underway. And I'll show you how the train runs in sections. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the whole thing. From track six, and this is in staging yard A. See, I've got it. It's labeled over here. Right there. And it'll go over to ready tracks west, past all this debris and stuff yet to be worked uh, and it'll go over to the other side of the layout so what we'll do is uh, we'll start it up i'll just show you a little bit of it so here is the train hopefully <laughs> everything derails when you're doing a video coming out of staging yard a and it's already stopped there it goes pico turnouts what can i tell you i love them but hate them at the same time and the train will now go over to to uh, Ready Tracks West for its uh, trek uh, up the West Helix. So we'll catch it on the other side. There it is coming across the junction that allows me to go back and forth from staging yards A and B. And it's now going on Ready, Ready Tracks West, track one. And once it goes all the way around, sorry about all this stuff in the roadway, but this whole thing is a one-man operation, so it takes me a while to get stuff done. So it'll, uh, and you can see this is how the uh, turnouts are stationed, so, are set, so that it'll go up, I have to get over here. It'll go up that track there, back there, where the white cardboard is. And it's hard to see. But there it is. And then we'll catch it on the helix. You may not have noticed, but I have to power each one of these uh, ready tracks also. So I just use this, cut the power off. So if a train is sitting there, you won't hear it. Okay, the train is now on the West Helix. And here it is here. Hopefully everything will stay on there. There's a lot of drag on this train because all of the uh, BLI sound stock cars, uh, they have, of course, pickups for electrical connection to the decoders, and, uh, and they are just heavy cars. So... We'll catch it when it comes up, because it's got to come way up to here, and then it'll uh, come out onto the eastbound main. In between, we'll just watch it a little bit coming up, just for a few seconds. So you're going to hear sheep, cows, and hogs. The hogs are in the front, the cattle are in the middle, and then the sheep are at the end, because that's the way the stock feed lot is set up. Here comes the train through the uh, tunnel on the eastbound main. It 
these are um, once again four FTs they're from Inner Mountain pigs in the front hogs then we're going to have some cattle and the sheep are in the last few cars. Here's the train as it uh, goes through Michelson Junction, loosely modeled after Ottawa Junction, Kansas. And this is a, uh, where it usually stops. <laughs> Got a lot of turnouts and crossings in this junction, so you never can tell. One of my farms, like this one, and there's one behind on, over my right shoulder, um, may have to have some chickens, but we'll, we'll see that later. We'll catch the train when it comes through Paradigm. You'll notice that the entire train crosses over and stops. Something dirty. At Paradigm, it crosses over briefly to the uh, westbound main. And then um, has to cross over into the stock feedlot. And I'll have to check. One of those wheels is probably... That's okay. That's a video. They all do this. I think it's one of the sheep cars towards the rear that's giving me some issues, but that's okay. Hey, it's a hobby. What can I say? So we gotta come up just a wee bit more unless unless that car that's giving me problems shorts out of here. Could be a wheel, a pickup, could be okay, now they're all lined up. So what we would do from this point is these road engines would be detached and then they would go over to the engine facility over on the other side of um, Union Station and um, for servicing. Meanwhile, all the animals would be let out at this point into the stock feedlot where they would be uh, fed and watered and such. And all the stock cars would be uh, cleaned and they would have uh, like new, new sawdust or, or hay put into them. One of the things I wanna show you is there are two of the uh, non-Santa Fe cars here. These two cars are Great Northern and it's not unheard of when the uh, Santa Fe would actually have non-ATSF cars on their trains. What they would do is take them to their destination or transfer them as soon as possible uh, back to the home railroad and then carry the uh, animals in some of their own cars because I do have more cars, but we won't show you that. And sorry for the, the engine or whatever was, was stopping the train, but uh, that happens when you do videos. It doesn't bother me in the least. So. But anyway, that's, I want everybody to see and hear this train. And uh, it's one of those fun additions to your layout. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. 
We'll see you next time. Um, probably I'm going to run uh, another couple of passenger trains, one of which is something I've been working on a long time, is the low-level El Capitan. Back a uh, couple of months ago, if I recall, I ran the high-level El Capitan, and I needed a couple of lunch counter diners, and uh, I've got those put together, so um, that train will be run. I probably got, and I'm going to switch over here, Hard to turn those animals off. I also have the Silver Streak Zephyr. I got the General Pershing Zephyr to be run. I'm gonna turn off that power. I also got the uh, other version of the, of the Silver Streak back there. And then I have the M10,000 to run. Uh, those do have non-sound decoders in them. But anyway, we'll see you next time. Thank you everybody for uh, subscribing and watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye.